Hey everybody, today I wanna to teach you a way to increase your sales by up to 17% in just one week. Hi everybody, my name is Ryan Gromfin and I'm with The Restaurant Boss as well as restaurantprofitandperformance.com. I'm an author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, and I help restaurant owners make more money as well as enjoy more freedom in their lives. And like I said earlier today, I wanna to teach you how to increase your sales by up to 17% in one week using a very simple six step method that I have for properly upselling and increasing your check average in your restaurant. Now, most people are not even properly measuring their check average. We use that word check average a lot, but what I mean when I say check average is really your per person average. When I say I don't really care about your check average, that's not true in some restaurant situations I do, but there's not one restaurant in the world, I don't care what style or where you are, that I am not mostly interested in your per person average. To calculate your per person average, it's just the amount of people you serve in a day divided by the total sales for that day. It's quite simple. And what you're gonna end up with is a number that ranges anywhere from two, three dollars per person up to 70, 80, hundred dollars per person, depending on the kind of restaurant that you operate and where you are in the world, obviously the value of your currency. Now, before I get into exactly what those six steps are, it's important to remember that there's only three ways to increase the sales in your restaurant. One of those ways is to get more customers to come through your front door. Another way is to get your current customers to come back more often, and a third way is to increase the amount that each customer spends. So knowing that there's only three ways to increase the revenues, it's really important to focus in on one of those three. I think it's very hard for your average independent restaurant owner to be focused on all three at the same time. So one of the first places that I suggest restaurants start, if they need a little boost in revenue, in dollars coming in, is to start with the customers that you already have. Just encourage them to spend a little bit more. Now this word upsell is thrown around a lot. You know, would you like to add guacamole to that? Would you like to supersize it? Would you like to make it a combo? Well, I use the word upsell because everybody understands it. I really hate that word. I like to think of this as adding value to your customer's experience. We're not in the business of upselling. We're not in the business of selling our customers anything they don't want, because then they're not gonna come back. What we are in the business of is improving our guests' experience, of giving them an experience that they love and that they want to come back for again and again and again, part of that experience, part of giving them something that they love is getting them to spend a little bit more money because usually your better products are more expensive and they're gonna like them more. So I wanna switch the way that we think about this upselling as a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because if you can get your customers to buy an extra appetizer that they love or in the case of the guacamole, if they do add guacamole to their tacos or their nacho or their burrito, it's gonna be a better burrito because of it. So let's not shy away and step back from this upselling, let's step into it and get excited about it and shift the way we think of it as, like I say, adding value, making the customer's experience better. So what do you say? Let's get into those six steps right now. The first step is to focus on one category or item at a time. It's really hard to just say, we're gonna increase our check average today but it's a lot easier to say, we're gonna increase our check average today by focusing on selling more bottled water, selling more wine, selling more beer, or even selling a particular type of beer today. That's gonna to be our number one focus. So the first thing is to pick a category or even an item that you're gonna focus on for the next whole week. The second step is to post the benchmark, meaning how many of that category or item did you sell last week and what was the dollar count? Did you sell 100 beers last week at $600 in revenue, whatever that is, post that so your whole staff knows and let them know this is the benchmark and we're gonna beat it by this much and here's exactly how we're gonna do it. So that's step two. Step three and step four kind of go together. Step three is to see the item in your customer's head at the first point of contact. So if you have a sit down restaurant where customers get greeted by a host and then are brought to their table, I like to see the item that you're encouraging your customers to order right at the host stand. So as your host is walking the guest to their table, have him or her say, you know, folks, Jessica is gonna be taking care of you today. If you've not had this brand new beer that we just put on tap from Coronado Brewery or whatever it is, I think you're gonna really love it. And then she walks away. 
or he, and what they did is they just sort of seeded it in their head. Now, step four is to see that in the customer's head, to see that in the guest's head on the second point of contact. So now, when your server walks up to the table and says, hi, my name's Jessica, I'll be taking care of you today. Have you guys tried our brand new beer from Coronado Brewery? You know, whatever it is, I just made that up. But now your guest is like, huh, I've heard this twice, that sounds really good. Yeah, let me try one of those, that sounds great. So that's step three and step four. Okay, so now step five is to simply track that goal. So whether it's by the day or by the period, however you decide to track it, I like to just use a tally system. So let's assume that you sold 12 of those beers in the last period and you wanna sell 18 in this period. Every time someone sells a beer, they go up to a piece of paper and they just do one of those little lines, you know, the one, two, three, four, and then five system. And that's it, then you track it. That way they know throughout the shift, you can motivate your staff, you can stay on top of them, they can see it. And that way you just keep it going and track it. This is the best way to get the results you want. I can't even begin to share with you all of the experience I have with customers who have done this, whether it be for increasing bottled water sales, increasing wine by the glass, beer, appetizers, guacamole, desserts, whatever it is that you wanna focus on, this system works. But I left out the sixth step, the last thing that you need to do, which is celebrate. Set a goal ahead of time, tell your staff, if we all hit this, we're gonna have a pizza party, or if we hit these four goals over the next four weeks, we're gonna all go out to dinner one night after work and it's on me, or I'm gonna buy everyone a case of beer or a bottle of wine or something, whatever it is for you, whatever you decide to do, however you decide, but reward your staff, make them a part of this and celebrate it for everybody. And you guys are gonna see a huge boost in your check average. Listen, I hope you love this video as much as I loved making it for you. If you did, there'll be a little blue button below this video. If you're watching it on my website, will you go ahead and smash that button? If you're watching this on YouTube, click like and then leave a comment below or come on over to my website. Below the video will be a link for you to come back and watch this on my website. Leave some comments wherever you are, it doesn't matter, but leave a comment, leave a question. But more than anything, do me a favor. Tell me what your current check average is and one thing you're gonna do, what you're gonna track this week to make a difference, then come back a week later and share your success with me. Ask others questions. We can all get involved there and help each other out. This is a community and I want us to all work together. But if you love this video, like I said, if you could do me a favor, go ahead and share it, post it, comment, do anything you can. That's how I can keep making these great videos for you that'll help you make more money and have more freedom in your restaurant at no charge. My name's Ryan Gronf and I'm with therestaurantboss.com and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you so much.